By 2050, the world will need to feed an additional two and a half billion people living in cities. Yet as the demand for food increases, the amount of space available for agriculture in developed countries is expected to fall. I'm Rachel Mealy in Japan's Fukushima prefecture to see how sun-free and soil-free urban farming could be the way of the future. We're here in the town of Aizu Wakamatsu at the Fujitsu plant. On this site, for more than three decades, the company has produced semiconductors for use in computers. But what we're here today is to see a new project Fujitsu is working on. Mr Miyabi is going to show us. In recent years, the demand for the chips has slowed and the company has converted an unused part of the factory for its foray into agriculture. Please take off his shoes here. Okay, and... And the air, air, air shower. Air shower? Air, air shower. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Particles yeah. on yes. my clothes. Okay. So this project is called Kirei Yasai. What does that mean? Kirei means clean and Yasai means vegetable. Right, the clean vegetable clean project. Clean vegetable project. We grow vegetables in a clean room that was uh, uh, used for semiconductor chips and uh, less particles and less bacteria. And it's soil free, is that right? Yes, yes, soil free. We, we don't need soil. Nutrient solution here in our In the tanks, tanks. right. And there is a pump and a nutrient solution uh, pumped up into a top tray like yes. this and closed under the vegetables and the second and the third and return to the tank. To differentiate its lettuce from other farmers, Fujitsu has focused on growing a low potassium variety, which is sold to people with kidney problems who can't process the mineral properly. The lettuce is sold to nursing homes and hospitals in the area, as well as online for patients to buy directly. How many lettuces are in there? Uh, 50,000 heads of lettuce here. 50,000, that's, that's a big salad. <laughs> Miyabe says a vegetable factory like this could be set up anywhere in the world, regardless of the climate. In the future, uh, this kind of plant factory will increase, not in Japan, but also all over the world. All of the cultivation condition is controlled, so through a year, uh, we, may, we can make uh, the same quality of the lettuce. You're producing a clean vegetable here, but we're not very far from the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Mm. Do you know that these vegetables don't have radiation? Our vegetables are safe and also uh, we test the radiation twice a year. I'm now travelling to Kashua City just outside Tokyo. It's an area of old-fashioned farms, but I'm here to visit another indoor farm using New Age methods. I'm meeting Shohei Yoshimoto from the Mirai Vegetable Company. Mirai is the Japanese word for future. Do you think that this is the future of, of farming? Sure. Uh, we believe this will be the solution for future food shortage problem. The Mirai Company is not just in the lettuce business. It's also selling the systems for factory farming. And so far, they've had customers in Russia and Mongolia. Input costs such as power and labor are high, but because the farm can operate 24 hours a day, output is maximized. From seeding to harvesting, it takes 35 days. In open field, usually from 72 days to 90 days. So around 2.5 times faster. This factory produces about 10,000 lettuces a day and they're sold in supermarkets across Tokyo. Yoshimoto wants to show me a small-scale lettuce farm his company has sold to a restaurant just down the road from the factory. Oh, it doesn't get much fresher than that. So we visited the farm of the future Perhaps in the restaurant of the future, a dish like this will come to the table where every component has been delivered fresh from the factory. 